Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to dice a carrot. So we're going to take our carrot. We're going to peel it. Um, I like to use both sides of the blade of the peeler going up and down. Saves a little time. And most people think it's for a right-handed or left-handed person, but I disagree. All right, so when um, cutting the carrot, we want to remove part of the side of it so that way it doesn't roll on us. And so once again, I'm doing the pinch grip, claw grip, keeping my fingers out of the way, and I'm going to try to find the, most, uh, the flattest part where it's the most stablest. So I'm going to cut that off. I have a nice flat surface to work with. Cut that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut strips with this. So now that I have my strips, I'm going to lay them flat. And if you're comfortable, you can stack them up. But with the carrot being a little denser, it does make it a little more difficult. They'll want to slide apart. So with your comfortability, um, do what you like. And remember to knife safety, using the claw grip, pinch grip, keeping your fingers out of the way of the blade, using your knuckles as a, a guide. Yeah. All right, so um, just back to dicing it, having this flat cutting it, and then using our claw grip. And so one reason I like to peel the carrot, um, it just, it's more appealing visually, and then also it's more palatable. And then also, uh, all my years of experience in the kitchen, I like to save the peels and make it uh, stock. So I can save um, carrots, peel the ends of the celery, um, the ends and the skin of the onion, um, and make a veggie broth, or if I have chicken, I can add the bones and make a chicken stock. But if you do like to use this, the skin on the carrot, um, just give it a good scrub and cut it up the same way.